Welcome viewers, Lance Mechanics here today. In this video, I want to explain why nobody should be filling these up. You the customer, fast lube places and mechanics. And once I explain it to you, it should make more sense. And well, you're just gonna have to watch the videos to find out. So stay tuned. So I thought I would edit this video really heavily. I'm just gonna do what I normally do and just speak. So what I want to talk about today is, uh, it's an evolving culture. So what happens is people get oil changes and we top up fluids. I did it for a while until I figured this out. Fast lube places do it, mechanics do it. Everybody does it because they're expected to do it, but they don't know why they do it. And I think they're covering up a very good diagnostic tools for you, the customer, and the mechanic visually. So there's gonna be a lot of mechanics watching this video and a lot of people who aren't mechanics, but if, the way I'll explain this is, this is the number one indicator that you probably need brakes done. And it's not an indication that you may have a leak. It's more of an indication that maybe you should get your brakes checked out. And as I explain this, you'll understand. So every vehicle from the factory with brand new brakes and brand new pads and rotors, we'll just say everything's brand new, starts at full. But as your brakes slow air, the fluid is going into the calipers to take up the gap. And there's, someone made a calculation, I'm not an engineer, there's enough fluid here for it to literally go metal on metal with your pads and still have some left over for emergency braking. So we're in the culture right now where it's top up fluids for free, top it up because people don't know any better. Uh, the average customer will see something low and they'll lose their mind if they ever open their hood, which is rare. And to avoid this, everybody tops up fluids. And that's not what we should be doing with a brake system. With a brake system, we should be monitoring this. So you as a customer, if you know you're, you've had your car forever and obviously you're not filling this up every day because you don't have a leak, if you go out one day and you notice your fluid's right about here, the good, there's a good chance you need brakes on possibly the front and rear. Most likely it's the front. The front way, wears way more than the rear. But it's a good visual for everybody, including mechanics, to judge if you need a, an inspection on your brakes. And to give it a little more clarity here for the customers, here's a Here's a caliper. So it's most of the way back, but as it wears, it's moving closer and closer and it's coming in until eventually it can't go anymore. And then you're metal on metal and you need rotors and pads. But as it's doing that, the space behind here is filling up with fluid. And you know what? It's a closed system. When you do a new brake job and you push those, those pistons back, this thing's gonna go right back to the top. There's no reason to add fluid. Actually, most of the time, the messes I created was because people added fluids. When I'm doing a brake job, we'll push the calipers back and all, all I would hear on the floor is dripping. And I'm like, oh, great. Now I got to clean an engine compartment because brake fluid is very, very nasty. You don't want that to linger around. And everybody has stone interlocking driveways that apparently. So the way I taught the new kids was pop the hood, look for min and max and never ever top it up. Topping, topping it up is the worst thing, especially on a closed system. Again. The fluid doesn't evaporate unless you have a leak. It's really not going anywhere. And it was always a great visual for me to teach people, hey, look, you're at minimum. You didn't even take the tires off yet. And if you didn't feel anything on your road test, just looking at this can show you that you probably should have a brake inspection and you can recommend it to the customer. And I always told customers like, this only happened once in my career. They said, why didn't you top up my brake fluid? And I gave them the same explanation I'm giving you now. And they were perfectly happy with it. Uh, if they don't know, they don't know. You can't expect them to know. Your job as a mechanic is to educate them. And a lot of mechanics forget that. And you fast lube places, I understand you're under the gun, you're under pressure. Everything's about topping up fluids. Don't top this up. Uh, the, if you can explain to the customer why, it'll make sense. This is the one fluid I always recommended to people. Don't top up because it's a good visual indicator of what's going on with the health of your brakes. So I don't think this video needs to be any longer. Uh, some people can argue in the comments. It's a closed hydraulic system. There's really not much more to say. I'm just saying this is to customers and mechanics alike. Stop topping this up unnecessarily. There's not much more to it. So uh, if you like this video, post in the comments, post what you do. Again, this was my number one check for the health of brakes. You can go on a road test and they could be perfect, but uh, they may be worn. And this, this is a great visual for a customer. So uh, Lance Mechanics, have a good one. 